Sports for Real with Coach Hall. You know, upsets are great for sports. It's nothing like sitting there watching some underdog team take out some heavyweight and it just shift the whole landscape of that sports season. Such was the case with the NCAA tournaments. After three upset field weeks of tournament action, both men's and women's, we had our plates full with upsets. But sometimes when you pull an upset, you can actually find yourself into the championship game. Such was the case in the men's side with San Diego State. They knocked off number one overall seed Alabama, had a few clutch plays to in the Elite Eight, and hit a big shot to get into the championship game to take on UConn. Well, their bubble finally burst, but not before providing a whole lot of excitement that a lot of fans will remember for a long time. On the women's side, Iowa, not, not as much of a underdog, but it did knock off the number one overall seed, South Carolina. Now the thing about that particular game, Iowa came up with a gimmick on defense that I think made all the difference. They were out man down low. So they needed to find a way to neutralize that and they found a way by allowing pretty much South Carolina guards a free reign at shooting the three pointer. It's a risk or reward technique, but it just happened to work out for them. And it took all they could have from their star, Caitlin Clark, to even stay with South Carolina. So chalk that one up for strategy. But the only thing about the Iowa game, doing all that fantastic run, you saw the Clark making all those hand gestures and the, you can't guard me stuff. And that's fine when you're winning, but you got to have that same energy when you're losing. Well, enter LSU. LSU found themselves in the championship game after tracking down number one seed from their region, Virginia Tech. They came back and won that game, and this will happen to match up with Iowa favored them. Iowa could not pull the same game plan on South Carolina on, uh, on LSU because LSU was the better shooting team from the perimeter. And it eventually caught up to Iowa, especially once they got into foul trouble, it was all over. But let's be clear. You know, after the game ended in controversy with LSU paying the girl back for all of that, that's fine. As far as I'm concerned, turning about is fair play. But at the same time, you're kind of taking away from the moment of celebrating with your team. You can't get mad with them for doing it, and then you do it. You're just as guilty as they are. And the part I had about you defending South Carolina, talking about your SEC girls, well, South Carolina doesn't care anything about you. Matter of fact, they're sitting around hot because they know they are better than you. Didn't they just beat you like, like 24 points not long ago? So the last team you really wanted to see was South Carolina. I would do you a favor. So let's just celebrate this win with class and move on. And let's all realize that the real winner in all this is the NCAA. They're making billions behind this from TV. They're getting ratings. The social media talk is high. NCAA is on top of the world right now. And they're sitting around figuring out how can we get our ratings to go higher than they were this year. So they're going to take this Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark clash, and they're going to build that up, and hopefully maybe they can meet again in next year's tournament, and then the NCAA is going to make a whole lot more money behind all of that. So having said all of that, the amateurs get away, get a, get off to the side, and now we're going to have the NBA take the center stage with their playoffs beginning next week. Now, the only thing as far as excitement goes concerning that, you're going to have the so-called best players in the world go at it, and it doesn't matter if they lose one game because they can always come back. You know, if you had a team like South Carolina who had opportunity for a series, there would be no doubt that they would be standing on top of the mountain again. They're going to be back. But the NBA and all these other sports, like I told you before, is just something to do until football comes around. So all of you football heads out there, we're going to endure these playoffs. Then you got the Tour de France and a few other sports coming up. And before you know it, it's going to be August. And life, as we football players and football heads know, is going to return to normal. Sports for real.